Hello, my friend. I am so excited for this episode of What's In It Makeup. Not only we have so many really interesting releases this week, but we also have some of my favorite influencers of all time releasing a makeup line and a collab. And there's just so much cool news this week. And I'm just pumped to share it with you. So if you're interested in hearing What's Up In Makeup this week, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. All right, all right, all right, okay, 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 all right, all right. Ah, I'm so excited, okay, all right. Samantha Ravindahl Auric Beauty, Auric Cosmetics, I don't know which she's going with, I don't know, but she announced her new brand and I'm freaking out, I am so excited. I'm a huge Samantha Ravindahl fan and I'm just so excited. Okay, so let's just go over her launch video. I'm just gonna give you the, the little tidbits, but you can go over to her video to see the whole launch video, but can you tell how pumped I am? I'm pumped. I've just ha also just finished my second cup of coffee for today, so that might be it too. She created the brand because she got tired of brands discontinuing her favorite products, so she created her own so she could always have them, which I thought was really cute. She also wanted the brand to stand alone without her name attached to it. She wanted people to enjoy the brand, love the brand without having to know who Samantha Ravindahl is. I think that's really cool. I, I like it when people don't attach their names to it. Nothing wrong with people attaching their names to their beauty products, but I don't know, that's just my personal, personal preference. The name Auric means relating to or derived from gold and there's a lot of gold packaging involved but she defined her brand as golden together. We create value when we value people first. That's what she said in the video which I thought was super cool because there's a huge focus on inclusivity and I'm going to quote her because she said it in a very unique way. I've never heard anybody talk about inclusivity this way. She said quote, we wanted to really break down what does inclusivity really mean to us. We believe believe inclusivity goes beyond just what you look like. It's about everything that we all are as people, our life experiences, our beliefs, our creativity, our ideas, and how we express ourselves. So for us, inclusivity is about welcoming all of that with open arms. She also talked about that she wanted this to be kind of the future of modern luxury in cosmetics. And once you see the packaging, if you haven't seen it yet, whoo, it, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. The first product is called the Glow Lust. It's $45 and it's a radiant luminizer. Now I am not a liquid highlighter person typically. There are a few liquid highlighters that I really, really like, but most of them for me personally, they miss the mark. So if you had just said somebody's coming out with liquid highlighter, I probably would have been like, Meh. but this one actually looks really interesting. The way she described it, the way that it looked on the models and everything, it's just absolutely beautiful. So she says that you can mix it with skincare, foundation, you can put it over foundation or under foundation to add glow and radiance. This outer packaging is insanely gorgeous. I'm saving it. I know when I buy it, I'm saving it. <laughs> it's too pretty to throw away. And she also made sure, speaking of throwing away, that she used as much glass packaging as possible so that it could be better, easier to recycle because some places do let you recycle glass. The product is fragrance-free, gluten-free, and glitter-free. She also said that it has hydrating, like active hydrating ingredients in it and that it is very comfortable to wear. And then that was really important to her. Then the second product of two is called Smoke Reflect and it's $39 for one of them. There are three different shades available and they are eyeshadow duos basically. So she calls them three products in one. There's the topper shadow, which is on top. And then there's a cream shadow underneath that the lid screws off, or you can use them both together to get three different kinds of effects with them. So of course you're seeing the swatches right now of what those look like. I really love the color choices that she chose. I can see these being universal colors for lots of different people. I would imagine she'll expand the shade range eventually, but really, really excellent choices here in my opinion. The collection launches on January 26th, and if you have not figured it out yet, I am planning on purchasing as much of this as humanly possible for me. I really want all three eyeshadows and one, maybe two of the highlighters. I don't know. It just depends on how, you know, how I'm feeling that day, but like, I'm so excited. I would imagine I'm not on PR because I don't know Samantha personally, but I am just so pumped for these products and I'm so pumped for her. She's just such a likable person to me. I just really, like her and I love the packaging and I love the products and the way that she showed them off. They just look incredible. They look like things I want to use and I'm so excited. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, you're, if you are not used to Jen excited and freaking out over something, it's not over yet. We've got one more Jen excited freaking out over something. Angelica Newquist. oh my gosh. Okay, I can't say it with her beautiful accent. That's the closest I can get. She approved it once when we were in person. I said her name as close as I can get it. She has a collab with Kaleidos. I used to say Kaleidos, but I think it's Kaleidos is the way that she was saying it. And this is so Angie, so Angie. Okay, it's called the Club Nebula palette, it's $45, or you could get both the palette and the PR box along with a custom deck of cards that goes along with the palette, and that's an extra $8, so $53 total for everything, and I love this palette. This palette is so Angie, it is so beautiful. If you know Angie's channel, she is very much into using all bright colors. Like, she'll bring some natural colors into there, but she is a bright, glowing goddess when it comes to the bright, eyeshadow so it's perfect for her so there's 15 shadows they are all unique to the palette there's no repeats in the kaleidos collection there's dark colorful mattes shimmers duochromes and multi-chromes in this palette she said you can use it alone for a bright look or you can pair it with a more natural palette she tried to tone down the mattes a little bit so that you could easily take a natural palette make a natural look and just add one or two pops of color and it really does look like it'll do that well and if anybody knows color it's Angie, so yes! Launches January 19th, and I am getting this one in PR, yes! So hopefully that'll be shipping soon, and I am planning on doing a full review of it, and I cannot wait, and this palette is so Angie, and I'm so happy for her. Congratulations, Angie, Mwah. All right, I'm calming down, I'm calming down. <laughs> Let's talk about Key's Soul Care. We did talk about it before when they had their original launch. Now they have come out with their second launch. So they have added six new products. Let's talk about it. Each product they say has a skincare benefit, a soul care benefit, and an affirmation that goes with the product. For all of those details, you can go over to the Keys Soul Care website. So there is a golden cleanser, $20. The skin transformation cream fragrance free. So they released one with fragrance. And now they have one that's fragrance free. That's $30. The Be Luminous Exfoliator, $22. Then there's a Harmony Mask for $28. A Comforting Bulb balm for $12. They say that you can use this all over your body, but it is lip balm size, so I wouldn't imagine it would last very long if you're putting it on your elbows. Just like I'm maybe putting something similar into a larger tub for the body, maybe something they'll do in the future. That's kind of what I would recommend if you're gonna market it that way. It's gotta be big enough to actually use that way. And then the Reviving Aura Mist is $22. There's also different sets, ranging from $93 for the initial launch, which was the candle, the roller, and the cream. So that's $93. Or you can get the complete soul care ritual of everything for $197. So now that they've released more skincare, I'm really curious to hear what you think about the additions. Are you excited about this line? We were all so excited when Alicia Keys was coming out with skincare, and I feel like just the hype has died <laughs> and I'm curious to know what you think like are you excited about it now less excited did the the initial launch just kind of dampen everything for you let me know in the comments Sephora is making some changes, recognizing some shortcomings in the past and trying to make a change for the better. According to Bloomberg, Sephora is laying out a plan to rehab its image with shoppers of color who'd alleged a racial bias and lack of products that cater to their needs. That's according to Bloomberg. The article cites a few situations of racial, racial discrimination that came up that Sephora is noting as just examples of the problem. The first one was, a black woman that went in with money to spend getting her makeup done. She scheduled a, a, a session to have her makeup done. She sits down in the chair and the person asked her if she brought her own foundation. And she's like, no, I didn't bring my foundation. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I didn't bring a foundation. I'm freaking Sephora. And then another employee joined in and said that they didn't feel comfortable doing dark makeup. So the woman left with her 300 bucks in her pocket. Another notable issue was in a Sephora inside JCPenney, there was a manager that instructed instructed employees to purposely follow Somali customers around the store and also allegedly went out of her way not to help black customers because she thought they wouldn't buy anything anyway. So as a result, there was a survey conducted in June of 2020 and it was found that 43% of shoppers who are black, indigenous, or people of color say they're unlikely to visit any store again after unfair treatment based on the color of their skin. So their chief marketing officer of the American 
Americas, her name is Deborah Ye. She said, quote, all retailers, Sephora included, have a financial incentive to get this right. So it's really hitting them in their pocketbooks that BIPOC customers specifically are not shopping in Sephora stores because they just don't feel comfortable. They have to feel like they have their guard up or they just don't feel like they're gonna be treated right. So Sephora is feeling that financial hit. Therefore, they're putting some practices into place. Very interesting that that's what pushed it over was the finances. I mean, they are a business, but still. So this is what their plan includes. They're going to double their assortment of black owned brands by the end of 2021, create new training modules required by all beauty advisors that better define what client engagement should look like and what behaviors will not be tolerated. Also reducing the presence of third party security vendors in in their stores. And they're also gonna be sharing their progress on employee representation on a biannual basis at Sephora.com. If you look at the data for Sephora, they're not doing well compared to Ulta in the last four years, especially. So about four years ago, they were kind of neck and neck with Ulta, but in 2019, Ulta made $7.4 billion and Sephora made 5.9 billion. I mean, that's still a lot of money, but the discrepancy between has grown and continues continues to grow year over year. And they seem like they're crediting that toward boycotting from people who just don't feel comfortable shopping in their stores. So at this point, I would love to hear from you, especially if you are a BIPOC who is not really happy about shopping in Sephora or has had a negative experience, or even if you've had a positive experience, I would love to know your thoughts on all of this. I'm also going to link the articles down below for you if you'd like to read more in detail about how they're going to accomplish all of these things. I just kind of did a summary of it because I didn't want this to be, you know, real, real wordy. So if you want to read more into it, I'll link that down below for you so you can check it out. We have another collaboration and this time it is Mac and Harris Reed. Their fashion celebrates the fluidity of gender norms and they're only 24 years old. Oh my gosh. It's crazy to have this level of success at 24, it just blows my mind. So in an interview with Vogue, they said, quote, I don't just make clothes. If you want pretty clothes, you need to go to someone else. I fight for the beauty of fluidity. I fight for a more opulent and accepting world. They have styled a lot of celebrities, but most notable Notably recently, Harry Styles. I'll put up the picture of Harry Styles. Just, you, you'll probably remember this photo. It received a lot of attention on social media. The collab is releasing on February 18th with prices ranging from $25 to $35. And it will be limited edition. It includes a nine pan eyeshadow palette, three pan lip palette, two pan cream color base, and a metallic bronze eye coal. It actually looks really interesting. I love the design on the outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the color choices. I mean, compared to the Sims Mac that we talked about last week, it is like night and day between like insanely boring and ridiculously interesting. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this collab and what you think of it. Is this something you might be interested in purchasing? Let me know. And the final celebrity makeup line that we're gonna be talking about is Jason Wu has developed an entire beauty line for Target. Clients of his are a wide range of celebrities, including Ivana Trump, January Jones, RuPaul, and Michelle Obama. The highlighted product on the brand's website is a product called Jason the Freckled Boy. <laughs> It is a faux freckle creator and it's priced at $14. I just thought it was just such a cute name, Jason the Freckled Boy. <laughs> I don't know, it's just adorable. They're also offering a three eyeshadow palettes at $15 each, liquid eyeliner for 12, a three-in-one stick for lips, eyes, and cheeks. They look like lipsticks, but I guess you can use them three different ways, $12. Something called a Goodnight Mr. Woo Lip Mask. I love that name too. These names are great. And an opal stick, which is a multi-use highlighter, $12. There's actually 24 five products all together. It's a huge line. So you can check it all out on Jason Wu's website. And I believe they'll all be coming to Target today as well. The brand's website really talks about how this is luxury cosmetics coming to the drugstore. So I'm super curious about the quality of these products at such a low price point and whether, whether they really are that luxury price point, just less expensive. In COVID-19 news, Apparently some people with facial fillers have had reactions to the Moderna vaccine. So let's talk about that so you're aware if you have had facial fillers, what you may need to keep your eye out for. People are complaining of mild facial swelling soon after the administration of the second dose. 
That's the that's the big thing. There were two cases reported the day they got the dose and one case was reported two days after they got their second dose of the Moderna. They got in the fillers anywhere from two weeks to six months prior to getting their second dose of the vaccine. So this is what the professionals have to say about it. Double board certified plastic surgeon Suzanne Trott told Pop Sugar that the swelling was most likely due to an inflammatory reaction. She also said, quote, to even call this an allergic reaction is bold. Associate professor of surgery at Harvard Medical School, his name is Dr. Samuel Lin, said regarding the reactions, quote, the adverse reactions recorded to date in patients who have had injectable fillers and have gotten the COVID-19 vaccine are far less concerning than getting sick with COVID-19 or spreading the illness to high-risk individuals. Even if you've had fillers, the COVID-19 vaccine is still highly recommended. And all three doctors told Pop Sugar that they would recommend taking an antihistamine ahead of getting vaccinated if you're worried about reactions. But of course, very, very important to talk to your personal doctor or your plastic surgeon, whoever does your injectables, talk to them. Don't just go by people on the internet. Uh, but it sounds like it's really not a huge deal, but you just kind of have to decide for yourself personally. If I ever had fillers, which I've never had, I think that I'd probably, based on this, be okay with having the Moderna vaccine. But of course, I would talk to my doctor first just to make sure. And finally, we have some gadget news. YSL has come out with a lipstick gadget. You know, we have had all of these gadgets in 2020 and even 2019, we're always telling you about all these weird like 3D printing, makeup, all this stuff, but we never actually see them being purchasable. <laughs> They're always like ideas that never actually come out. This one's actually coming out. It is called the YSL Beauté Rouge Sur Monsieur, powered by Perso. That is the full name. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I did my best. It's $299. It comes with a device and also two sets of lipstick pods. There's three lipstick pods in each set and you have the choice of red, nude, orange or fuchsia as your pod choices. What it does is it works with an iPhone app to create your perfect shade of lipstick. So you can choose from a shade wheel to pick your lipstick, or you can use the shade match option, which uses a photo of a lipstick color or an outfit to create a shade that'll go with it. Or there's a shade stylus, which also relies on a photo of an outfit. I'm not sure hundred percent what the difference is between those last two, but I guess we'll find out. So what happens is, is it has the three different colors in there. And then the app tells the lipstick pod how much of each color to squirt out. And then I guess you mix them together with a lip brush or something. I don't know. It just squirts out the top of the device and you're supposed to mix it up and make the shade. I don't know. The refill lipstick pod set costs a hundred dollars on its own for three of uh, the lipstick refills and you can't mix and match the colors. So I can't take one from the nude and mix it with one from the red. It has to be all the red or all the nude. Like you can't do that yet. It just won't work if you try to do that. So I personally, I don't know about this device. I don't know how marketable this is to be a hundred percent with you. I just feel like like, it's fun. Like, I think there's a, a group of people that'll find this to be fun and you're supposed to be able to bring it with you and travel, but it's like the whole thing of having to mix them together yourself. Like, wouldn't that be a pain? Like imagine being in like your office bathroom, like trying to do this device on your phone and like the lipstick squirts out and you got to take your lip brush and do the thing and everything. I don't know. It just seems like, seems like way too much for me. I don't know. What do you think? Would you ever purchase this? What if it was, okay, maybe you wouldn't purchase it at, at this price point, but what if it was like $50? Would you buy it then? Or is this something you would never, never buy? I feel like it was $50. I might try it, but that, not at that price point, but that's just me. All right, my friend, moving on to our product report, starting with Beauty Bakery. Their bite-sized collection is slowly moving into Target stores. They'll be available in 500 locations. You can check Beauty Bakery's website today. It should have a full list of all of the locations, but it just went up today, so go check that out. Revolution Beauty is all about the cookies. They got all kinds of cookie stuff. Actually, I realized this stuff is available at Ulta also on the Revolution Beauty website 
website. It's available both places. So they have cookie bath fizzers and cranberry cookie, ginger cookie, red velvet, and bubble gum. There's also oatmeal raisin. They are $5.50 each. There's also iHeart Revolution cookie palettes in triple chocolate, chocolate chip, red velvet, and birthday cake. Those are $10 each. Now moving on to Sigma, they've released their lip care collection, which consists of three products. There's the moisturizing lip balm for $16, the hydrating lip gloss for $18, and the conditioning lip mask also for $18, or you can get all three of them for $39, which is a significant discount off of them individually. Brand that I have grown to love on Twitter, very excited for them, Mira Beauty Company. The Bloodline Collection launched on Friday. It is a POC and LGBTQIA plus owned beauty brand in Atlanta, Georgia. They have the Bombay Baby Palette, the Beijing Baddie Palette, and the Kowezi Queen, I hope I said that right, palette, $25 each or $70 for the bundle. So excited to see them coming out with products. I know they're very, very excited. I believe that these three palettes are based off of the home countries of the founders of the brand. Speaking of other countries, I have a soft spot in my heart for Iceland. My family had the lovely privilege to go there a few years ago. So I was excited to see Nomad Cosmetics release their Iceland palette. It's $37. Quote, 15 intense eyeshadows formulated with extra fine pigments for stunning color payoff, seven majestic mattes, six glimmering shimmers, and two dazzling duochromes, all inspired by the land of fire and ice. Really beautiful palette there. Now, Morphe and I Love Sarah E have a new collab. It is called the Sweet Oasis Collection. There's the 35S Sweet Oasis palette for $25 and the Sweet Oasis eye brush set for $20. The photography on their campaigns, no matter what you think of their, their quality of their makeup, the photography on their campaigns is always on point. Like just the mark, it's just beautiful. I think it's kind of interesting to release this kind of project, project in the middle of the winter though. I guess people are just itching for summer. It's a very summery looking project, but you know, maybe people want summery now. Who knows? In true ColourPop style, they launched two collections <laughs> this week. We have a Lunar New Year. The full set is $68. You can also get them individually. Two new palettes, the Light My Firecracker Lippy Sticks Kit, Lantern Fest Super Shock Highlighter, a new shade of Soul Mini Shimmering Dry Oil, and the Fourth Ray Beauty Vanilla Pearl Lip mask and then the cloud spun collection inspired by pink cotton candy the full set is 75 dollars, and again you can buy the products individually as well the cloud spun palette the candy floss super shock highlighter two new pressed powder blush compacts three new lippy sticks three new so juicy glosses and two cream gel liners oh my gosh craziness and then they actually released another thing i forgot about this i thought there were just two things there's actually three <laughs> also launched the like dynamite cream gel liner vault $45 features five new shades and four existing shades that's a lot man like I really like ColourPop I really like their products a lot but it's easy to get overwhelmed with all this like how do you even pick what you want like I get so overwhelmed I freeze up and I don't end up buying anything that's just the way that I am that's a it's I, I like want to try a lot of this but it's like how do I pick? I don't know. So I'm just probably not gonna get anything. <laughs> and then right now, I believe only on the Wet n Wild website. I might have missed it on a drugstore website, but I know it's on the Wet n Wild website. They have a Valentine's Day collection that has released the Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink. It's $349. The Mega Last High Shine Lip Color in Raining Rubies or Rose Slay. $2.99, also for $2.99, the Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in Crushed Grapes or Sweet Glaze, Mega Volume Mascara for $3.49, Makeup Sponge for $3.99. They also have three bundles priced between $8.99 for three products and $11.99 for five products. Is it too early for Valentine's Day? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think we could do Valentine's Day already. I'm cool with that. I saw a lot of buzz about this one on the internet. Tarte released another Tartlet palette, the Juicy Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette, $45. They call it a next generation version of Tarte's cult classic Tartlet palettes. Features 20 rosy and bronze shades. It goes very well with the rest of Tarte's palettes in my opinion, as far as it being very typical looking. I think there is a market for palettes like this, but it definitely doesn't look like anything special or unique in my opinion. 
it. There's also the Cheeky Claymate Face Palette, $19. They call it a pocket-sized blush, bronzer, and highlight palette for a sun-kissed glow in seconds. And then the Maracuja Juicy Lip. Now, this was not available on Sephora's website, but they do have some shades available on the Tarte website and also all of them available on the Ulta website. Maybe that's also why Ulta's inching ahead of Sephora because I've noticed that a lot recently. Sorry, ADD brain are taking me off top for a second, but I, I've noticed that a lot recently where Ulta seems to be snagging launches before Sephora. So they'll launch at like the brand website in Ulta and then like a week later they'll be at Sephora. Maybe that's part of why Sephora is lagging behind too. They got to get those brand deals going a little bit better. Maybe that's it. All right, back to Tarte. So they say it is a hydrating lip gloss balm hybrid to help you click and tint your way to smooth, plumper looking lips. Well, there you go. Now, Shiseido, this isn't available yet. It's arriving on Tuesday the 19th online and on February 5th in stores. The Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation SPF 30. There are 30 shades. Great job, Shiseido on that. They really worked to expand their shade range. Thumbs up, from me at least. $47. They call it a luminous foundation that hydrates for up to 24 hours and adapts to your skin for a medium to full coverage with a radiant finish. They also have the Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer, that is $38. Sorry, $36, not $38. 36. From La Mer, they have a primer and foundation product duo releasing as well. The Perfect Primer is $90. They say it visibly hydrates, plumps, and blurs imperfections for smooth, soft focus effect. And the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, only 12 shades though. And it's a pretty pathetic shade range if you ask me. Mostly on the light to medium side, definitely $125, a buildable powder foundation with a soft moisturizing texture for skin enhancing coverage. All right. Now at Sephora, the Pat McGrath Crimson Couture Lip Kit is $55. It's a matte finish lip kit and liner duo in the shade Bloodlust. And then finally at Sephora from Fenty, the little gloss bombs. This is so cute. The mini lip duo and keychain holder. <laughs> $24, they're so cute. One review said that you can use it with the full size gloss bomb tubes because it's just like the silicone sleeve that fits over the top of your gloss bomb. One review though said that it was kind of hard to get the gloss bomb in and out because it was just, it was too tight of a fit. But then another review had said that it was really nice for inside their purse because then it wouldn't get lost in their purse. It would always be like just clipped onto the side. So they really liked that. Uh, I don't know, I think it looks really cute. And just a couple of things at Ulta, adding on to the stuff that I just mentioned from Tarte. Uh, that stuff is also available at Ulta, but they've also added that's not available at Sephora, the Big Ego Amazonian Clay Brow and Root Camo Kit, $29. Now this is super interesting. There's four shades and it's not just for your eyebrows. It's actually can also be used for your hair to like put in your part to cover up your grays. I don't think it would do anything for my grays. My grays are too long at this point, but <laughs> if you just are, you know, in between root touch-ups or whatever, and you want to put a little bit on, then you can do that. They also say it covers patchy areas or small bald spots, making thinning hair look instantly thicker. So that's a different kind of product I haven't really seen from a lot of cosmetic companies in the makeup area. And then the last product I wanted to mention is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation, $6.99 coming in 15 shades with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. They say it gives a natural medium coverage finish and it's a weightless feel for up to 24 hours. All right, PR or purchase of the week. So this was sent to me in PR from Ferocious Beauty. They are an independent beauty brand. I use their eyeshadow palette on my eyes today. This is the Darkness Rising palette. Really enjoyed using this. I will put the Getting Ready With Me video in the description, the link for it, if you wanna see all of the swatches and everything. They swatch beautifully. Very easy to use, very pigmented, very blendable. Today I use this shade, this shade, the shade and then on my lid I have these two on my lower lash line I just wanted to play and use some more shades so I use this dark blue and also the white uh, the white is really nice it's not super opaque but it makes it really easy to use. So if you're not looking for like a pasty white, you just wanna use a white to kind of lighten up other shades, it builds really nicely and very easy to use for that purpose. Wait till you see this black. Mm, this black is just, oh, 
it's not patchy at all not patchy at all and then let me swatch one of the shimmers let's do the gold the well gold the bronze shade orangey bronze shade that i have on my eyes today it's just really really pretty they swatched great i really had fun using them today and then i also used one of their highlighters today this is their vision liquid highlighter in the shade viper ice i'll go ahead and swatch that for you as well that's what's on my cheeks today and it's just really beautiful you can see how you might be able to use Use that as like a liquid eyeshadow. I don't know if they recommend it for that, but I can imagine that being nice as a liquid eyeshadow. But the more you blend it out, the more it just turns into this wet look on the skin. And it's just really pretty. So it just kind of depends on the opacity you're going for. Uh, and it's just, it's really gorgeous. And I love that it has that versatility in there. So very happy with both of these so far. These are first impressions. Don't, these are not full reviews, just first impression, but I did want to share those with you. For sales this week, I couldn't find a whole lot of brand sales. Uh, so just two of them to mention to you, Jouer has up to 60% off sale and discounted items, 25% off of all Super Shock products. So the blushes, the highlighters, the eyeshadows over at ColourPop. And then because I couldn't find a very many brand deals this week, I went into Sephora and I looked at the things that were on sale and just pulled out some items. So 50% off of these next ones, Fenty Beauty's Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick is marked down to $9 each. The Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear foundation is marked down to $20. And when I looked, they had all the shades still available. The ABH Haute Holiday Mini Lip Gloss Set is marked down to $14. And then also on sale at Sephora right now, the Tarte C Fresh Faced and Festive Must Have Set is marked down from $23 to $15. It is a $41 value. And there are three shades left, at least when I took my note of the Kaja Air Heart Lightweight Natural Finish Lipstick, $17. They're now marked down to $12. So I popped over to Ulta and did the same thing. And the first thing that stood out to me was the ABH Eye Collection Palette Vault. It's $45.50. You get a deluxe sample size eye primer. You get the Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. That, of course, is full size. A liquid liner and a lash brag volumizing mascara. And just the Sultry Palette on its own is $45. So you're essentially getting everything else for $50. And the Sultry eyeshadow palette is my favorite ABH eyeshadow palette of all time. So highly recommend this. And then I love my makeup erasers. I'm a huge fan of those. I know some people have cheaper alternatives, but I love my original makeup erasers. The original price on those is $20. They're marked down to $14 right now. Another set, if you're a fan of Bare Mineral, the Clean Treats 4-Piece Clean Beauty Set and Bag. Original price is $47. It's an $84 value. They have it marked down to $28.20. You get a Skin Longevity Lifelong Herb Serum Deluxe Sample, an all-over face color in warmth, which is a terracotta bronze, a full-size Gen Nude eyeshadow palette in rose, a mini Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara, and a limited edition bag. I thought that looked like a really good deal if you were interested in some Bare Minerals. Just two more things, the KVD Vegan Beauty True Portrait Medium Coverage Shake Foundation, $18. Original price on that is $37. There are 30 shades left of this, mostly on the medium to deeper end. The fairest shade it was also available when I took my note. So lots of available over there for you if you were interested in that. I thought $18 was a really good price. And then this is the gem. This is the gem. If you waited around this long, you get the gem. All right, the Ulta Matte Eye Primer is one of my favorite eye primers of all time. It is very comparable to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's marked down from $12 to $8. I hope they're not discontinuing it. Thankfully, I have a lot of it right now, but it's a really good eye primer. If you're looking for an eye primer, highly recommend that one. And then finally, we have our artist shout out of the week. And I try not to put my friends in here, but I could not help it this time. We're then gonna be talking about Beauty by Julia. Oh my gosh, I love this woman so much. She is one of those people that if you are cold, she will lend you her jacket. Like she is that kind of person. She is just such a loving soul, such a kind person. Just will do anything to help anybody. And just, oh, I just love this woman so much. And I haven't seen her in over a year now because of COVID. And I just cannot wait to get back together with her at an event. She's just an incredible person. So let's talk about what she's been doing lately. She's been doing an astrology series on the IG Reels and they are so, so incredibly fun. The Gemini one, I'm a Gemini. I'm big into, I have my Gemini ring I wear all the time. I'm big into Gemini and I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, did she do it justice? She did it justice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. She did it. 
I love it so much. Okay, and then I just wanted to highlight a couple more looks of hers. This snowflake look, I believe, was from a couple Christmases ago, but she did like a compilation of her previous like, holiday looks, and this is one of my favorites that she's done. I just love the the creativity that she put into it. Just absolutely love it. And then this one here just shows her just master of artistry in this cloud scene that she has on her eyes, and just the blend and how beautiful it is. I'm gonna put the reference photo up for you as well, just so you can see what she was trying to create, and it's just it's so on point. She's so incredibly talented and she's such a good person. I will leave her Instagram link down below for you. I know you will absolutely love her if you go over and follow her. And that, my friend, was what's been makeup this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I know I had fun this week. I'm just in a really good mood today. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of happy things happening in the beauty world and I'm just so happy to share them with you. So I hope you had fun today. If you did, make sure you subscribe. The subscribe button is down below. But before we go, I wanna take a second and I just wanna thank the What's Up and Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. They contribute every week and put up what they see around the internet just to see, make sure I have content for the show. So I always go over there and check the recommendations. If you'd like to become a hunter, I will leave the link to the Facebook group down below for you to go check that out. Chat today is at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We're gonna be hanging out talking about makeup. If you'd like to hang out with us, I would love for you to join us. But if you miss it or you can't make it, it is no problem at all. You can always check it out on the replay by going to my channel page, clicking on the videos and clicking on the video titled live chat. You can also click on your subscription feed. It should be there as well. Don't forget to check your subscription feed because YouTube isn't always recommending the people you're subscribed to in your main feed. So don't neglect that subscription feed. Thank you again so, so much for watching. If you'd like to hang out a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos of mine over here, including last week's What's Up and Makeup, if you would like to watch it. But if you gotta go, I understand. It is no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Mad love to you. And I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye!